hello guys welcome to my channel set is creation so today i am going to say html tutorial from beginning so let's start so first of all what is html html stands for hypertext markup language and is the standard markup language for creating the web pages html describes the structure of a web page and consists of a series of elements those elements tell the browser how to display the content HTML elements label pieces of content such as this is a heading, this is a paragraph, this is a link, etc. So let's see a simple HTML document. So this is an HTML document. So normally we write it in a notepad or notepad plus plus. So let me explain this. So the doc type HTML declaration defines that this document is an HTML5 document. So HTML5 is the latest standard form of document. So the HTML element is the root element of an HTML page. So whenever you are writing a HTML page, so HTML at the starting is very important. The head element contains meta information about the HTML page. So what does you mean by meta information? Meta information means information of information. So the head, uh, the head gives you more information like title, we wrote a title. So the title element specifies a title for the HTML page which is shown in the browser title or in the page tab. So whenever you open a browser, so normally you see a browser like see you can see a title here so this is a html title now the body element defines the document body and is container for the visible content such as a heading paragraph images hyperlinks tables lists and etc so in body whatever you want to show in your web page will be written in the body for example we wrote it here like h1 h2 paragraphs and few examples right so the h1 element defines a large heading so h2 defines a lesser size than h1 h3 defines a more lesser size than h2 so the p element defines paragraph so whenever you start writing a paragraph you define the p so write p and write whatever you want to write the paragraph you just write it down so this is the simple explanation for this paragraph so whenever you are writing a paragraph whatever you write so whenever you open a element then you need to close the element too with a forward slash as shown here so you can see a forward slash you need to keep for every open and close one so this was a simple example so let's meet you in the next video